Good evening, everybody. Welcome to TCM. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. In 1947, Universal International Pictures released a comedy, The Egg and I, based on a Betty McDonald novel about city-dwelling newlyweds who decide to move to the country and become farmers. With big stars Claudette Colbert and Fred McMurray as the leads, you'd think they'd have been the highlight of the movie, but they weren't. Naturally, Colbert and McMurray turned in solid performances, but the lead characters ended up being upstaged by another couple in the movie, their country neighbors, Ma and Pa Kettle. The Kettles, played perfectly by character actors Marjorie Maine and Percy Kilbride, turned out to be comedy gold, charming audiences with their down-and-out but down-home approach to life. Executive producer Leonard Goldstein realized it was the Kettles who made the Egg and I a hit, so he gave the couple their own low-budget movie, which led to a successful series of nine movies. We'll be bringing you four of them tonight. Up first, naturally, the first in the franchise from Universal in 1949. It's Ma and Pa Kettle. In this first installment, the Kettles and their 15 kids are facing eviction from their ramshackle farmhouse when Pa wins a contest for writing a tobacco company slogan. The prize is a new home rich with automated appliances. Not surprisingly, the old school Kettles struggle to adapt to modern conveniences. The Kettles are a lot like the Beverly Hillbillies of the hit 60s TV sitcom, except the Kettles don't move all the way to Beverly Hills. The movie also features some of the same actors and characters from The Egg and I, including Esther Dale as the busybody Mrs. Hicks and Richard Long as the Kettle's oldest son, Tom. From director Charles Lamont in 1949, here's Ma and Pa Kettle. 